Hello, welcome back. Draconic Roar, this is our fourth box. And I am loving this set. I am absolutely loving this set. So the EX sets, EX, well not EX1. The uh, Classic Collection was kind of a dud set. But EX2 and EX3, both having like three alt arts in every box. Like the EX sets are really fun to open. And I will say, we've opened three boxes so far. Each of them had three alt arts, and I didn't get any duplicate alt arts. I do believe these are all from the same case. That may have something to do with it. But we have not gotten any duplicate alt arts out of our three boxes. So we'll see if that remains the same with this box. We'll have gotten 12 alt arts, all of them different. That would be so... That would, that's like best case scenario that you could hope for opening four boxes of a single set. It's like the best case scenario. All right, so... Sorry about that. Medjidramon. We are not going to go... Ooh, super rare to start us off. Hi, Dramon. We're not going to go through all the commons and uncommons. If you want to see commons, uncommons, and rares... Well, I guess we're going through the rares, but if you want to see commons and uncommons, make sure to go look at the first video, my first Draconic Roar box opening, because for that box, we did look at all the commons and uncommons. But honestly, the sets are so small, once you've gone through one box, I mean, you, you get every common and uncommon, every common and uncommon in a box. So once you've slow rolled one box, there's no need to slow roll anymore because you've seen every common and uncommon. So we're just skipping commons and almost every common, uncommon. Trial of the Four Great Dragons. Oh, wow, an alt art already. Imperial Dramon Fighter Mode. Now I was saying how cool it would be to get 12 alt arts that are all different. Unfortunately, this one is a duplicate for me. But still a very cool looking card. Very, very cool. Imperial Dramon Fighter Mode. I've not looked up prices for the set. I'm recording this on release day. So the first thing is that prices are probably going to be higher than they will be three weeks from release day. So that's the first thing. And then the other thing is that, uh, what was the other thing? I don't remember. There were two things I was going to say, and I forgot the second one. Vimon breaking the fourth wall. That's a really weird design choice they went with there to break the fourth wall. It's kind of, kind of weird. Um, yeah, so I'm recording. I am recording this. I do, I record videos in batches because the thing is that I sell all of the cards that I'm not keeping on TCG Player and prices for bulk is at its highest on release and shortly after release. Like if you, Dark Dramon, super rare. If you were to keep all of the bulk for three weeks and not post it until three weeks after release, then you're, you're losing out on most of the money that the bulk has. Like, all of these cards are probably going to be worth like 10 cents in a couple weeks from now. Anything that's not a super rare is probably gonna be worth like 10 cents three weeks from now. So it's very important in regards to me getting some of my money back for all the cards that I don't want to keep that I post them on TCG Player as soon as possible so, I am recording this on release day, even though you're probably watching this two or three weeks after release. Well, two weeks after release, probably. I'm not positive about my upload schedule right now. What can we talk about? I've just been talking for like two hours now, because I've just been recording videos all day. What can we talk about Digimon? We talked about some good talking points about why I am or am not 
going all in as a collector. Ooh, there's a new one. Oh, that's a secret rare. Very nice. Now, the thing about secret rares and alt arts is that secret rares and alt arts are both textured. I think this is a regular secret rare. I don't think this is an alt art secret rare, but I don't hold me to that. Examon secret rare out of four boxes. That's my first secret rare, I think. That's really cool. Let's take a look at the condition of it. The condition for this set has been absolutely amazing. The quality control, they did a fantastic job. Aside from the little white specks and schmutz and stuff. Yeah, that card, that card is absolutely amazing. I feel confident about this set that you could pull a card out of a pack and send it off to get graded and easily get a 9 or a 10. Like, I, I feel confident with how good the quality control is with this set that you could just pull a card out of a pack and send it off and you could fairly easily get a 10. The quality control on Draconic Roar from the, from the four boxes I've opened has been phenomenal. All right, Wormmon, Imperial Dramon Dragon Mode. So we have the regular and the altar. Oh, that, that one's Fighter Mode. Oh, there's a Fighter Mode and a Dragon Mode in this set. Interesting. So I've pulled two alt art Fighter Modes. I haven't pulled an alt art Dragon Mode yet. All right, as a long mon, just a couple rares in that pack. So yeah, as a as a collector investor, I'm feeling good about Digimon, but I'm not going all in on it because Bandai is coming out. So Bandai currently has two TCGs. At this point in time, they're planning on coming out with two more TCGs. And frankly, that has me a little bit cautious because not all four of them are going to be super amazing and, you know, be be a hit and be around 20 years from now, you know what I mean? Like, not all four of these TCGs are going to make it, you know what I mean? So, I feel good about Digimon because, you know, it's probably the one that is... Of between Digimon and Dragon Ball Super, I think Digimon has a lot more players. Whereas Dragon Ball Super has a lot of collectors. But I think Digimon is actually played a lot more. Has a larger following, a larger player base. And things like that are what will make a game last a long time, is having a huge player base. Tank Dramon. Break Dramon. So I feel good about Digimon, but their Bandai is coming out with two more TCGs. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Are either of those TCGs going to take players away from Digimon, or are they going to focus more on those than they are currently on Digimon? Because now currently, Super rare, that is just a regular super rare, not an alt. Are they going to, you know, shift focus onto those other TCGs? Is Digimon going to be getting, you know, less love from the designers? Are they making completely new design teams for those other games? You know, stuff like that. I don't feel confident. Just the fact that the one company is planning on having four different TCGs is making me a little bit cautious on investing. I mean, collecting-wise, you ob obviously, if you're a collector, you collect what you love. If you love Digimon, then you collect Digimon. Whether the game is a success or it fails a year from now, you know, if you love Digimon, then you should collect Digimon. But as an investment, Goldramon Alt Art... Unfortunately, that one is also a duplicate. So we had three boxes with no duplicates, and then our fourth box, we actually had two duplicates, but secret rare. We had a secret rare in this box. None of the other three boxes had a secret rare. So that is really cool. All right, Slayer Dramon. 
Lavogaritamon. I put the Slayer Jermon in the wrong pile. All right. Aegis, oh, that's a super rare. Aegis Dramon. So that brings us up to, what are we at? Seven? No, eight. Yes, eight. I have them in a weird layout because I like putting the alt art. I guess I can put these over here now. There we go, eight. We have eight hits with, whoops, Six packs remaining. Wow, I'm just messing up all the cards. All right. That was probably, I've not seen, oh, but we did have a secret rare though. So the question is, is the secret rare in a different pool than the alt arts? Because we got two alt arts and a secret rare. Are we still going to get three alt arts so that the box will actually have three alt arts and a secret rare? That would be freaking cool. That would be amazing. Aero V Dramon and Wormmon. We have four packs left, probably one more hit, but what is it going to be? Does the secret rare take the place of an alt art or are we going to get another alt art? Azulongmon. All right, three packs. All right, we've got Mega Seedramon. There we go, another alt art. So the secret rare was in addition to our three alt arts. Wow, that is awesome. That is awesome. The secret rare was in addition to the three alt arts. So, breaking news, if you get a secret rare, you also still get three alt arts. So theoretically, there's a super rare as well. Wow, 10 hits. Wow, so yeah, the secret rare was just in addition to all the regular hits because we got 10 hits in this box. That's actually good information to know. Let me get through this pack real quick and I'll do a, a little spiel. Entmon, Dorbikmon. All right, so the first three boxes had nine hits, three of each. Uh, each. So each box had nine hits. Three of them were an alt art in every box. This box actually had 10 hits. Three, alt, three of them alt arts, and then a secret rare. So your secret rare appears to be in addition to all the regular hits that you normally get in a box. So that's very cool. That is really cool. Unfortunately, all three of our alt arts are duplicates, but we got this, which appears to be pretty rare. So you're not guaranteed. It used to be for standard sets, you get an alt art and a secret rare or the secret rare will be replaced by a second alt art. But in this, it seems like the secret rares are in a completely different pool from the alt arts. And we got a secret rare in addition to the nine hits that you usually get. We got 10 hits in this box. That is very good information to know. All right, so like and subscribe. If you want more Draconic Roar, I am more than happy to open it. I just, you know, need to get views, honestly. So if, like and comment. If you want more Draconic Roar, comment down below and I'll open more. And uh, subscribe for more Digimon. I also open Pokemon and Magic the Gathering and uh, Flesh and Blood. So if you like any of those, you can subscribe as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video.